A person thinks they see something strange, dash in front of their car late at night on a dark road. A playback of the tape has their suspicions confirmed by a totally bizarre dash cam encounter caught on video. A fleeting figure standing under a street lamp runs out and disappears way too fast to be a human. He claims this video is unexplainable paranormal evidence, but I suspect it might simply be a trick of the light, not exactly a lens flare per se, because there is no sunlight to reflect, or maybe that is the right term, but you know what I mean. Basically a ray of light bending towards him to create the illusion of a phantom ghost. So while there is definitely a light anomaly, I'm not exactly sure it's paranormal. Tell me what you think he's caught on tape, because it might be a reflection and nothing more. Surveillance cameras sometimes capture images you just can't handle. Posted by one Dante one to the Sir Spook subreddit. You might want to stay inside at night after watching this clip. Dante explains that they put out trail cams because they lost their cat. While they were working out in their garage at night, they set off their motion detector and, a moment later, caught this on camera. The clip plainly shows the men working in the light of the garage. Night has fallen, and the rest of the scene is quite dark. That is, until a phantom spirit drifts into view. The vapor-like phantom has a human figure and flies in from the top right of the screen. In fact, it appears as though the figure strolls right into the frame. MuggleMad32 writes, This is a really good capture of an apparition, while Explore with Sunny adds that it's pretty unexplainable. Is it truly unexplainable? If so, do you hold the key to the explanation? Unfortunately, this clip isn't longer, or we may have seen where this phantom is off to. Let's hope he didn't do anything to that poor cat. Do you take this ghost bride to be your lawfully wedded wife? I don't. Published by Thiago Ferracao in April of 2022, this ghost hunter encountered a phantom bride that was forcibly married to her husband in this haunted church. This is what happened. As they first enter the church, an unseen force slams the door shut and moves a wooden bench with great force, and then the fun begins. The bride is first seen as they are attempting to communicate with her using a spirit box. Watch the door carefully in the background. A pale figure passes slowly. The pair don't notice it. Qual era o seu nome? Later, as they're told to leave, they see the figure face to face. Once they're standing outside the church, the figure is seen standing at the altar. As Thiago walks toward the church doors, they're slammed shut in his face. After watching this scary video, would you say I do? Let me know in the comments. While exploring a haunted location in Orlando, Redditor Cali1939 captured this on SLS video. Watch closely. Later, as they walked past that same area, many in the comments think the connect is simply picking up two gravestones, which is why it jumped to the next two gravestones, making it look like the figure was walking away from them. I tend to agree, but it is curious that the EM detector went off in the same location. What do you think? Another structure that's prime real estate for a haunting? Hospitals. Posted to YouTube by Ogden Paranormal in September of 2019. The group of paranormal investigators explores Old 2L Hospital, one of Utah's most haunted places. Samuel Lee built the structure as a resident in 1873. His family lived there until 1913, after which it was remodeled into a home for the elderly and those with special needs. Some called it the County Poor House. The Old 2L Hospital closed down in 2000, with half of it serving as an elderly care unit, while the other half serves as Asylum 49. 
Although Anderson was skeptical about the site's paranormal activity at first, his research into the hospital prompted him and his wife to contact paranormal researchers to investigate the site in 2007. Upon exploring the building, the UGO, or Utah Ghost Organization, documented thousands of EVPs and captured pictures and video footage of mists apparitions, shadows, orbs, and other seemingly paranormal activity. Now, the 2L Hospital is the scene of private ghost searches twice a year, from January to July. So what sort of spirits haunt this hospital? The nurse spirit, Maria, is said to guard a spiritual portal in the hospital that is believed to lead to another world. Another ghost that haunts the hospital goes by the name of Wes. This patient appears scared and confused, as it's said that the real Wes had Alzheimer's at the time of his passing. Ghost Wes haunts the room that he stayed when he was alive, as well as the nearby hallway. A medium tried to assist Wes in crossing over, but was hindered by some dark entity that always remains close by. With this background in mind, without further ado, let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Ogden writes, We've investigated here a few times in the past and captured incredible evidence, but our last visit scared us so bad that we ended up leaving early. Now we return to this location to face whoever or whatever ran us out of the building all those years ago. This time, the group's visit includes light anomalies, particularly the entire operating room lighting up and a strange light appearing in the nursery. Strange sounds are heard at 10 minutes 13 seconds and 10 minutes 15 seconds. Where you at, Wes? Where you at, Wes? And all the mannequins set up around the hospital don't help one bit. Creepiness is given an edge by those inert bodies. At around 17 minutes 37 seconds as well, it looks as if a foot appears on camera in the bottom left corner. Disembodied voices go unexplained. The entire video makes you wonder if this is Paranormal's resting place. Published to YouTube by Proving Demons in May of 2020, the channel writes, We returned to the most haunted poltergeist school and captured insane paranormal activity on camera, from ghosts manifesting to things moving on their own as well as a strange incident of a supernatural nature. This haunted school in the United Kingdom is apparently known for its poltergeist activity. As with most abandoned and reputably haunted places, the school is in shambles, wrecked and damaged by trespassers, age, and maybe even the spirits that haunt the place. Once inside the school, the group of investigators hears a humming that they say sounds like a generator, which is strange since the power is shut off in the school. Through the video, strange noises are heard, knockings, a woman's wails, a sound like a shower is running. One of the spookiest sounds, though, which the crew seems to hear recurrently, is that of a young girl crying. At one point on the wall, they spot a message that reads, Dan PD. Could that message be directed at Dan from the Proving Demons crew? As they're examining the message, a noise is heard. Something from the ceiling fell out on its own, causing the lot of them to jump in fear. <laughs> Dude, where did that come from? In the basement, they tune into the spirit box. When asking if anyone is here, the spirit box answers, I'm here, mate. When asking where the spirit is, a voice says, Gymnasium. What happened in the gymnasium of this school? Whatever did, it's not leaving. This scary Reddit video was posted by a user named Naval Court, who says he caught a spirit giving his friend's child a hard time while it's trying to rest. First, the child stands up as if he sees somebody enter, or maybe he's even called over. He slowly looks up at something much taller than him, and as soon as he lays his eyes upon it, he falls with force. He sits off and shakes it off, and then something flies by overhead. He even looks over his shoulder and sees it. 
Some people think the kid is just acting silly, as children tend to do, and maybe even shaking his head to try and stay awake, but I agree with Naval Court that this is weird and could be a ghost like he thought. Predator Combat Drone is conducting a routine patrol when suddenly something huge and fast enters its airspace. What appears to be some kind of unidentified flying object streaks by the drone. In a gigantic burst of white light, the drone turns around to scan the area. But whatever zoomed past is now long gone. Unfortunately, no further footage was recovered. I don't know if the lack of information surrounding this video is a sign that it's fake, or it means the military simply isn't saying anything. The unidentified flying object could be CGI, but outside of that possibility, what you are watching could very well be our first contact with very technologically advanced extraterrestrials. Uday Hindi is exploring an old building when he comes across a little girl staring at him from the corner of the room. <laughs> the door furthest away from both of them shuts all by itself before he gets a chance to investigate. Despite this, Uday Hindi bravely pushes into the next room and discovers she is not a girl, but rather a creepy life-size doll. He roughly handles the doll from room to room and throws it on the floor, and that's when the doll decides it's had enough. <laughs> I saw no strings when the doll moved, did you? Anyway, he is busy analyzing some strange and possibly demonic markings on the doll when suddenly this happens. Watch and try and translate what he says shortly before it goes all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this part I feel like could have been from the way the doll was leaning on the wall before it fell, but the incident before that I feel could be quite real. This video is taken one summer on Vancouver Island in Canada. A YouTuber named Mushmasta is on a hike when he sees a huge humanoid creature that he still can't explain to this day over 10 years later. According to Mushmasta, the creature was 7 feet tall and stood on its hind legs to stare at him, but by the time he started recording, it was already hunched over and taking off. <sighs> At first, I thought it was a bear, but look closer and you can almost make out the upper body of a human, especially the shoulders. It looks far more human than a bear, judging from the way it walks away. In the end, the creature chooses to leave Mushmasta alone in the woods, wondering what he had just encountered. Let me know what you think it was based on the brief video that I have shown you. No one has been able to solve this in over a decade. While exploring a 16th century cemetery in Cornwall, YouTuber Ghost Adventures of Cornwall captured two apparitions in Tudor period clothing. Can you make them out? I can, and they're giving me the chills. These guys are trying to communicate with a spirit at their clinic office, specifically Jen. To determine who they're talking to, they use flashlights. We're gonna say, oh, I think it's cool with that. We're gonna say the alphabet, and whichever one your name is, can you please turn off the flashlight on that letter, okay? When they arrive at J, H, I, J, Jen. Yeah, it's Jen, I think, or something tied okay. to Jen, it has to. But another flashlight is directed by a second spirit. You're another one, right? That's a different spirit, okay. Um, K, L, M, N. Okay. They're trying to figure out which of the spirits wrote the note or were somehow connected to it. If you're not connected to it, turn off your flashlight. Daniel's not connected to it. So Jen is. So Jen is. I knew it. Dude. 
And finally, they ask Jen. Jen, were you the one that wrote the note? No. Oh. Wait, but she's connected to it, so she didn't. You know write. who wrote the note? Were you here when they wrote the note? Although the Redditor doesn't explain in the comments what note he's asking the spirits about, according to him, Nathaniel once scratched him. I'm really not sure if he should be keeping the lines of communication open with an entity this aggressive. There is a powerful figure on this roof, and it's united the villagers in rebellion. Posted on TikTok by Toddy Catalina, this scary video shows a large, dark figure dominating this rooftop. Anyone who dares near it seems to be blown back, either by her power or from fear. Watch. <laughs> All those who try to reach the roof fail, and the figure doesn't seem to be bothered by them. They're even throwing things at the figure, but with one great pop, she disappears. Is this dark magic in the round? I'm not sure if this was a witch or some other mysterious creature, but I am sure she's managed to traumatize these villagers for life. Next time you're confronted by voices in a haunted house, you should probably just skip town. Redditor Alex underscore Paranormal TV posted the scary paranormal investigation to the Chills Narrator subreddit. It was originally posted on YouTube in February of 2020. The house being explored is a Coal Harbor house in London. As Alex Paranormal explains, we investigate the Cold Harbor house that no one wants to live in because of the extreme activity and what resides inside the Shadow Man. The exploration turns up loads of paranormal activity. At 8.53 in the video, Alex mumbles something as they're exploring, to which a disembodied voice answers, yeah. A little later, after setting up the spirit box, it either moves or falls over on its own at 16 minutes 7 seconds. Well, it's going through stuff, mate. Do you smoke that? Uh -huh. Oh, man. It's not the mic on the deck. Who are you? A short time after, at 16 minutes 55 seconds, an evil laugh occurs as the team attempts to speak with the spirits. Is this your room? Where are you? The laughter occurs again at around 22 minutes 9 seconds. <laughs> and at 22 minutes 49 seconds, a grunt can be heard. You just grunt then? Who was that? Was that you? As they're talking about the grunt, a very audible knock sounds on the adjacent door at 23 minutes 35 seconds. They continue to explore the haunted house. While they're in a hallway, about to enter another room, a door slams at 26 minutes 55 seconds. Is that you? Continuing in their exploration after a while, they discover an old Tonka truck in a room. When one guy asks if that's an old Tonka toy, a disembodied voice at 31 minutes 52 seconds answers, yeah. Look at that. That's an old Tonka toy, isn't it? What is? A number of other disembodied voices are noted throughout the video, as if the house was whispering a secret to them. If only they'd just listen. What was it trying to tell them? And what would you do in a house that talks to you? I'd just move out. This video of a speedy silhouette looks like it has to be in fast forward, but as the timestamp shows, it somehow manages to cross the room in less than one second. I can only assume that this shadow person has been seen at least once before, hence the bedside camera. Notice how all of its features remain blacked out despite there being plenty of natural light. What's particularly worrisome is how it clears the room in an instant, and then comes back into the frame to linger by their bedpost some more. 
Apparently, the two seem to share a mutual fascination. When Alexandra went exploring an abandoned schoolhouse in Ukraine, she never expected to go viral. On the first floor is a discarded tracksuit outside of a hole in the floor that looks like it could serve as the final resting place for many. They also find a green barrel that's full of an unknown chemical. They can't read the faded label, but maybe a subscriber in Russia will know more about this. Да вот бочонок. По идее, не знаю, что тут написано, невозможно прочитать сейчас. It could be acid. I've heard of people dissolving the passed away in barrels full of acid just like this one. Across from a green barrel are footprints, and across from the footprints are pictures of people. Ладно, пойдем на второй этаж тогда. Это ты? Есть кто? Alexandra pauses at the stairs. I think this video is 100% real because Alexandra does this thing some people do when they're really scared where they talk to themselves out loud to keep from completely breaking down. With that said, I'm not sure this video is paranormal. The noise could be someone staying here. A scary person who I'm sure you and I would want nothing to do with. A man who countless others likewise wish they had never seen. From voices to semi-transparent figures, baby monitors have been known to throw off all types of creepy vibes. This is amongst the creepiest. Posted to the ghosts subreddit. The OP writes, I'm 96% sure we caught a ghost on camera, pulling on my almost two-year-old son's leg while he was sleeping in his crib. The scary video shows the baby lying face down in his crib, both of his legs tucked near the bars. At first, the baby's left leg looks like it's being repeatedly pulled toward and even through the bars, but this could just be the baby himself sticking his feet there. But then all of a sudden, the baby's leg is lifted upwards, beyond the scope of ordinary baby abilities. It folds and is even bent at the knee and pulled backward. The leg is then extended out, then yanks behind its other leg and pulled between the bars. It's pulled upwards and back again, bent at the knee. This is done repeatedly until the leg is yanked so far backward that it seems to wake the baby up. He throws his head back and then pulls both legs beneath him. All the while, a strange white orb roams across the screen, floating above him. Some in the comments even say it seems to move in sync with the pulling of the leg. Most Redditors are terrified in the comments. Others think the ghost may have been trying to flip the baby over. So he wasn't sleeping on his stomach. But myself and nearly everyone agrees with Redditor Malin who writes, Straight up the most convincing ghost video I've ever seen. Bah humbug. Published by D Dark Past Scary in February of 2022 and originally posted to TikTok by Naoa Ten Kinoshita. Something mysterious is happening in this guy's house. He enters the living room where a Christmas tree is set up, lights twinkling, no one is there. But as he turns around the room, an object is thrown from a shelf. When he goes to retrieve it, he finds the phone has been broken. As he turns on the lights and opens the doors, 
More activity happens behind him, and finally right in front of him, even as he flees outside, the spirit isn't done with him yet. Does this spirit have no holiday spirit? Or is it the ghost of Christmas past? Route 666 in Ohio is well known for all sorts of paranormal sightings, such as hitchhikers without a face and other demonic entities. With this in mind, a YouTuber named The Planet Earth decides to take a long drive down Route 666 at night and records everything with his dash cam. The entire 17 minute video is rife with fear and suspense as this YouTuber thinks he sees something multiple times and bravely stops the car to investigate. One part of the video is particularly concerning. Keep your eyes on the left side and tell me if you see anything weird in the darkness. Okay. Is that what is that? What is that? What is that? I'm not sure if this is just a reflection of a road sign or something, but there appears to be two glowing eyes on the left side of the road. If these are reflective markers, then I'm not sure why someone would bother putting two of them in the middle of nowhere like that. With all of the rumors surrounding Route 666, I wouldn't be surprised if this red pair of eyes belonged to something supernatural. Waiting for the next car to break down. This strange creature sighting while exploring an abandoned house deserves more attention and a closer analysis. An urban explorer is walking down the hallway when they see a small black object move in response to being caught on camera. It looks like an unknown creature at first. I can make out the reflective surface of what could be an eye, but it kind of looks like somebody is moving like a stuffed animal or something. Most people in the comments are saying that strange creatures are known to hide in abandoned buildings and believe this video is real. Only a very small amount of people seem to think this is flat out fake. So I was wondering what you think of this video. I think it could be real, but I'd be more willing to believe that this is a kid's doll moving on its own, which is just as creepy as a real creature sighting would be, if not creepier. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.